Good morning. Drinking my husband's propel. <laughs> you know, whatever. Well, I thought I'd go with a new look today. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Wait, I'm working on it. I really, I really am. Look, hang on, hang on a minute. This is my new look. Since I was told today, just now, by someone that, number one, I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? Did you just now figure that out, honey? And that number two, not everything is a conspiracy theory. Well, okay, whatever you say, bub. Uh, here's my new hat. So since I, we're going to go this route today, I thought I would prepare you visually, right? Because this is what's going on with people. Anyway, we have to slowly condition you to accept the new ways and agenda. I mean, it doesn't it just seem that way. So I have some questions. By the way, welcome to Appalachia. I'm going to be working on this thing. I know. I know. I mean, I, I, the, I can't quite get it underneath, but we're going to work on it, okay? So welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I have some questions. I do. I've got, I'm like the Riddler these days. I told you that the other day, so I hope you're having a good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, this is a lot to say and a lot to process. And I've been thinking, I know, I've been using my my hat here to help me think for the past couple of hours. This is not actually new questions for me. This is actually things that, you know, I, I bug James to death about, you know, whatever. Just being that crazy Cocoa Puff wife that I am. So, okay. Okay. So we could put this as if I were the devil, I would, you know, is this the way that I would do it? There's a lot of different ways we can do this. Okay. So just bear with me. But I'm just going to ask questions because I'm just a cuckoo for Cocoa Puff dodo bird, okay? So, if if you want, it, 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 it seems to me, does this seem right? You tell me. If you want people to go along with something at some point, wouldn't it be smart to try to precondition them like maybe years in advance so that when you finally sweep in with whatever agenda or whatever you're going to do, they will just point blank accept it. So, I mean, if I, I mean, that seems that way to me, like, let me put it to you this way real quick. Hang with me here. Okay. Um, cause this is going to get far out. So if I had a child that was needing to have say a surgery, a little baby, not a baby, but maybe a toddler, or young child. So it was going to have to have a certain procedure, for example, or was going to have to do something. I know in my own experience, like, okay, so I had a child that had to have sleep studies and different brain scans and things done at one time because he was having seizures and different health problems. And so because to, you know, so therefore in order to prepare that child for a procedure or for a scan or for especially a sleep study where they glue everything to your head. Um, you might have to practice some things at home, putting certain things on their head or, you know, that's what we, that's what happens a lot of times with children that are in occupational therapy or are going to have a procedure. So you have to kind of condition them, right? Right? So I'm just thinking out loud, you know, um, you know, there's been a lot of things, right, that we've been seeing kind of really come to the forefront in the past really like, what, three years, three to four years, maybe at least it's kind of mainstream in terms of questioning whether you are, a, you know, I, am I Patera or am I Sylvester the cat today? You know, am I an avocado or a coconut? Um, could I, you know, do you see, you know? So, <clears throat> you have young people questioning a lot of things, right? Not just young people, but uh, mostly. I mean, you know, a lot of younger people. So, here's my thought. Here's my question. So, why is this such a concern? I mean... I mean, people have things in their personal lives that they deal with. And, you know, I personally have the um, attitude of I have my own, I have my thoughts, my beliefs, my morals, and my convictions. But, you know, I don't rule the world. I'm not trying to rule the world. You know, I'm not trying to. 
Um, so, um, so therefore, when somebody is, you know, a legal consenting adult, whether I agree with what they're doing or not, as long as they are, you know, uh, con remaining a legal consenting adult with other legal consenting adults, then, you know, I really don't have any control over that. I can pray for them, talk to them if they ask me to, my opinion, but I kind of mind my business. I think most people are that way. I mean, I have my thoughts and my theories and my beliefs about it, but at the end of the day, um, you know, you, you go over on your mountain and you do what you do and leave me alone, leave my kids alone, leave kids alone, pay your taxes like everybody else has to. Because we got a fun Xanadu, honey. And, um, you know, so you make sure you're part of that too. Um, but, you know, so I want to establish that. But my question is, is why all of a sudden in the last couple of years, why is everybody so concerned about little kids? It just sort of feels like, doesn't it? Am I am I being crazy cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs here for asking? It, it, I don't think they're really asking our opinion. I mean... I, they're not asking you. I, are they asking the parents' opinion in California when basically, and in, or in Canada, you can go to jail now for, as a parent, if you're stepping in with your underage child and what somebody's trying to make them, whether that, you know, if somebody's trying to make them believe that they are, a, you know, a giraffe today and you step in and you say, no, Johnny's not a giraffe. <laughs> no, we're not going with that. So then you're going to go to jail? Have you asked why lately? Why, why is this suddenly a concern? Now, do notice that all of these things are coming about, it appears, at least, am I wrong? I'm asking. I'm only asking. Um, these things seem to be really manifesting where we have to affirm something. While we are in the biggest, the last three to five years have been like very chaotic um, and see, that's the best, is that the, is that, I'm asking, because if I wanted to rule the world, would that be the best time to drop the bombs on all that, literally and figuratively speaking? I mean, would, 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 is that the best time to start really confusing, mixing the pot, stirring, stirring the whatever? So, but why? Well, what if you were an individual that was not what everybody thought you were. I know, what? <laughs> nobody does that. Um, and you could very likely end up maybe in the future, near or far, near, far, wherever you are. I mean, could you run for a political office? Do you follow me? Could, so, in order for the people to be forced to accept something that they fundamentally overall don't go with, but yet these individuals want complete control and they want to force feed you an agenda. Um, and well, let's just force feed you, you know, demonic holds there. Um, wouldn't it be better to start with little people and 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 and, 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 and overall in the scheme of life you're slowly being forced to digest it am i making any sense i'm so confused i have so many questions here's what i'm saying like if if you know, wouldn't it, if you wanted to be in control or have a high authority or be a person, uh, have a position of power and you knew and everyone knew that you and your lifestyle or your agendas or what you're trying to force people to be for whatever reason, I mean, you know, it would probably be a good decision to slowly start that and confuse people and really dig in on the youngsters because if you needed their vote, say in, well, in, in a year, five years, 12 years, you kind of want to adjust them now to whatever, to accept it, to participate, or to be forced to accept it, and to be, you know, complicit um, to be apath uh, apathetic. Is that the word? I don't know. I'm just a hillbilly asking questions with tinfoil on my baseball cap. I really don't know much. 
So there's, you know, I don't know. I just want you to think about a lot of the things that you've been seeing. And, and, and like me, I think you should start asking a lot of questions. I mean, you know, help yourself out. Go, you can get, if you've got a little tennis visor or a baseball cap, you know, or whatever, this really helps your thinking and question process. I, I just suddenly come to the conclusion lately of, you know, why, are, why, you know, gosh, this is really being pushed a lot. What? Isn't it? Isn't that amazeballs? Why? Why is that? Who could we possibly, I don't know, put into some type of figurehead authority that, um, I don't know, may or may not be what we've always thought they were and, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to drop names. I have, I have my theories and my suspicions about certain people, but I could be wrong here. So I don't want to look too cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but I just want to say, I mean, it is good to ask questions and to think about all the things that are happening. I mean, and, and, and in theory, you know, most people will accept anything because, um, yes, it is true that if you drink the sand long enough, um, you don't know what water tastes like anymore. Um, yeah, that was from a famous movie. You know, they don't know the difference. Um, what was that? That was a movie about a president. Um, so I'm just saying, I find it interesting that we're seeing a lot of things. And did you see, by the way, I talked about Xanadu, you know? Uh, yeah, you know, have you seen the creature from Xanadu who happens to be an American creature who actually tries to look like Olivia Newton-John? And suddenly this person has some, like, figure and is in a... So see, you're seeing these things and it's becoming, you're being normalized to it, <laughs> right? <laughs> Are you? Are you? I don't know. I'm asking the question. I don't know. I don't know. So what if that happened here? Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is it happening here? I mean, are we seeing school principals? Did I see that? Am I, did I dream that? Or people in, mil in the military? Am I dreaming that? No. Is, that, is this my tinfoil just, I don't know. I See, I don't know anymore. We don't know. So I'm just thinking out loud. I had some questions. I wanted you to kind of think about some things that, you know, I, I don't know. I just sort of had this vision with this this morning with things that could be coming next year. Or if not next year, definitely you could see something interesting by 2028 or before. I mean, who knows anymore? But, you know, don't take me serious. I just encourage you to think and to ask questions. It doesn't mean, it doesn't necessarily mean anything in the end. But go make yourself a cute little hat today and um, join the Cuckoo Cocoa Puff train. And um, if you really, really let yourself think about it and you pray, God tends to, to, to lead you to see things that a lot of other people may not be seeing and fully understanding yet. I mean, I do believe in that at least. So, you know, I'm just in a state of confusion right now asking questions like, am I nuts? But I don't know. You tell me, right? So I spoke in riddles today because, well, we have to because, you know, you're, you're, very, you're very much seeing what happens to people when they speak boldly. But since I'm unsure of myself, I, I just ask questions and speak in generic riddles. What do I know? I'm just a hillbilly East Tennessee farming lady with tinfoil on her Jolly Gee hat today. Think about it. Love ya. Like, subscribe, and share. Love ya. Love ya. <laughs> Love ya. <laughs> Keep praying out there. God's going to show you. Guaranteed. Godspeed, and we'll see you on the next video.